Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here with the Lab Coats on Back Order, and today is the day. Ancient Origins has released in North America, and I have, as promised, the unboxing of the two theme decks that come with it. We have Stoneheart on one side and Iron Tide on the other. And I did do, do, do these in the right order. Yes, okay. Stoneheart and Iron Tide. Though, too much further ado, we're just going to get right into it, open these packs up here, see what we get in the theme decks, see what coins there are, and stay tuned to the end of the video, however, because I do have a trio of random booster packs, too. What I'm going to do with these is open them up, get the cards, and the code cards I'm actually going to give to you guys. Alright? Stay tuned to the end after the theme decks. Let's get right into it. And for the first theme deck, we're going to take a look at Stoneheart here, featuring Regirock, one of the Reggie trio from the Hoenn region. And we can see here on the side it's a grass and fighting type theme deck. Let's see what the back says. Strength of spirit, strength of stone. This deck's got heart. The kind of prize fighter's heart that never quits. With the stone heart theme deck, your Pokemon can poison, paralyze, and trick opposing Pokemon in many ways. And the mighty Regirock leads the way with its unyielding rock attack. Perfect for... With its unyielding rock attack. Perfect for taking down Pokemon EX. So this sounds interesting. Add in the legendary Pokemon Verizion, not Verizion EX, unfortunately, with the power to hit harder if you're behind, and the Stoneheart deck is full of fighting spirit. This is one contender that's never down for the count. Here we see Regirock is the featured Pokemon, we see Verizion and Vespaquin are going to be featured in the deck as well. Alright, let's pop this open and see what we get in here. So here we start off seeing Regirock itself with a nice cracked foil effect on the image here. 120 HP, fighting Pokemon. Rock throw for 40 and unyielding rock to 60. Plus, if your opponent's active Pokemon is an EX, it does 60 more damage. Alright, not too bad. 120 to an EX opponent. So we're going to stand you right back here by the Kyogre box. We've got the code card. I'm going to hang on to that one myself, but I will give out the codes for the random booster packs. So, here we have... Cool packaging for the deck. Regirock featured on there, the Ancient Origins logo. And you just fall right over. Alright, go ahead. And the coin is... I want to get focused first. Ooh, another Mega Rayquaza. I wonder if it's kind of a different color than the other one that I have. I had two from the past set. They were like a green and I believe a gold. It's almost like a silver. Alright, pretty nice, not too bad. Here we have your documentation, describing some things. So we're going to open it up here. Talking about the ancient trades, mentioning the new uh, Theta Stop and Theta Double. Showing off Mega Sceptile and how it can evolve, yada yada yada. And there's the card list on the back. Alright, off to the side you go. Here you see your cardboard uh, damage counters and poison and burn markers. Now let's see what this playmat looks like. Of course, the playmat itself is going to be arranged in the usual fashion. And I'm imagining we're going to see Regirock and the other main Pokemon from the Iron Hide deck. And as expected, we do have Regirock on one side, if I can show it off a little bit. Alright, Regirock and looks like the other Pokemon featured will be Metagross. So there's your basic playmat. And again, that goes to the side. We want to get to the important stuff, and that is the cards themselves. So the last time I opened theme decks, I got a little too overboard with all the commons and stuff. So I'll try not to be a little, you know, not too overwhelming in that way. So here we have some backwards cards. These must be the good ones. Or they're the energies. So we have Fighting Energy, Vespaquin. We are going to take a look at this one with Theta Double. So this Pokemon can have two tools attached. 90 HP, Grass Pokemon. For one Grass Energy, B-Drain does 20 and heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. Giving it two Muscle Bands could do 60 damage and heal 60. Okay. For two Energy, Fury Swipes does 30 times. And you flip three coins, 30 damage for each heads. We've got Porygon, Grass Energy, Tierno to draw cards. A nice female Combi, so you can evolve it into Vespaquin. Not that genders matter in the card game, of course. Spinarak. Healing Scarf. I've seen this card. Whenever you attach an energy from your hand to the card, to, sorry, to the Pokemon that this card is attached to, heal 20 damage. 
And with the ancient trade off of growth, you can actually do that twice per turn as well. Porygon 2, Oddish, Vile Plume, 130 HP for a grass Pokemon, the ability Irritating Pollen. Each player can't play any item cards from his or her hand. Alright, so playing Vile Plume at a certain time, like you have to decide exactly when is the best time to play it. Use your items and then evolve Vile Plume, keep your opponent from being able to play any items back at you. And for two grass and a colorless, Solar Beam does a nice solid 70 damage. Got a level ball. It's nice to see these reprinted in the set, because these, I think, they predate the standard format, starting with the X and Y base set. So now Level Ball is back in standard. Search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. Professor's Letter, good to get some energies. There's Regirock, we've already seen him. This is the non-foil version. Ace Trainer, I already mentioned this one. If you are losing the game, you have more prizes left than your opponent. Each player shuffles their hand into the deck. You draw six, your opponent draws three. Good way to set them back a little bit. Okay, Ariados, 70 HP, Grass Pokemon. The ability Poisonous Nest. Once during your turn, before your attack, you may use this ability. Both active Pokemon, except for Grass Pokemon, are now poisoned. Okay. And Impound for a Grass and Colorless, 30 damage, and the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Canceling out the retreat. Here we have Virizion with 110 HP. For a Grass Energy, Bailout. Put two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. That's actually not too bad. Bring them back, almost like a sort of a revive, but they go to the hand. And for two grass, prize count does 40. Plus, if you have more prize cards left than your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. So this works in conjunction with the Ace Trainer, it looks like, if you're behind in the game. And a good old Wally to evolve your Pokemon. The Tierno. Switch card, always good to get your Pokemon moving around on the battlefield. Potion for healing. Another Ariados. Okay. I guess, okay, they're uncommon, it looks like. Fan Club. Pokemon Center Lady. Lucky Helmet. Then Pokemon Tool Card. Whenever the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if that Pokemon is knocked out, draw two cards. Alright, so helping you get some cards into play here. And those are the highlights of the Stone Heart deck. Not too bad. Let's see what the Iron Tide Metagross deck has in store. A blurry camera, there we go. So, what I really like about this deck is, look at the typing, water and metal. I started collecting the sets from, you know, back in the X and Y base set. This is the first time they've released a theme deck since then that's had metal types in it. So, you know, I had very limited access to metal energy at this point. It was just whatever I got out of the Elite Trainer boxes back here. Now I actually have a theme deck with metal energy, and I can make a metal theme deck around it. So we see Metagross on the front, on the back. Fury of Waves, Song of Steel. Crush your opponents with iron or sink them in the depths. Either way, you wield the chilling might of the Iron Tide theme deck. With Metagross leading the way, this deck shines like steel from the start. Add in some big attacks like Forbidden Iron Hammer from Registeel. That's a big name for an attack. And Hydro Splash from Vaporeon. And your opponent is awash in trouble. Bubbles and a Steely Doom. This sounds devastating. Then evolve Magikarp to Gyarados. I like how then you evolve Magikarp to Gyarados. Like that's not the first thing you're going to do. To truly thrash opposing Pokemon and watch the tide of the battle turn in your favor. So we see Metagross, Gyarados, and Persian, of all Pokemon, are featured. wonder what Persian can do in this deck. So if we can pry the top off, which we seem to be doing with ease. All right. So first up, we see Metagross. It's a metal Pokemon, 150 HP, Magnetic Warp. Once during your turn before your attack, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. If you do, your opponent switches his or her active Pokemon with one of the benched Pokemon. Alright, not too bad. A force swap out. And Iron Cannon for two metal, two colorless. 80 plus. You may discard all metal energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, this does double damage. 80 more, 160. With a Muscle Band attached, that could knock out a number of EX Pokemon. Alright, not too bad, Metagross. And we're just going to kind of skim over the rest of it here. So I'm going to put Metagross back here as well. 
We have the code card for the theme deck, the little pamphlet information, cardboard damage counters, the playmat. Let's get to the cards. Get right to the heart of the cards. Here we go. Awesome looking powerful Metagross on the box. So I see a number of backwards cards again, but of course they are just the energies. So we've got Professor's Lair and here's Eevee. There's, ooh, Gyarados. This one already coming with the Theta Double. So we can have two tools attached, 130 HP for... Actually, we looked at this one in the uh, one of the earlier uh, release videos about the cards. Full Retaliation for two colorless does 30 plus, 30 more damage for each damage counter on each of your benched Magikarp. And Thrash for two water, two colorless, 100 plus, flip a coin. If Heads, this does 30 more damage. If Tails, Gyarados hurts itself for 30. So again, like I mentioned in that video, either... A uh, protection cube will prevent that damage to itself, or a trick coin will enable you to get the uh, the flips a little bit better. I just realized we didn't look at the coin yet. And I just dropped the coin. Oh no, it's been damaged. Alright, so we see... Ooh, a silver Primal Kyogre. I was, I was expecting another kind of uh, Rayquaza, but there we go. Poor Groudon doesn't get represented in this one, unfortunately. But here we see the two... Well, one Primal and one Mega Evolution. Fancy stuff. Alright, so back to the cards. We have Metang. Meowth. And Act Tough. If this Pokemon has any Dark Energy attached, it does 20 more damage. It's pretty cool. It's interesting they include that in a theme deck that doesn't include the Dark Energy, so you kind of have to add extra cards to make full use of that. Reggie Steel. So, 120 HP for one... Great. One metal, one colorless. Iron Head does 30 times. Flip a coin until you get Tails. This does 30 damage times the number of heads. And for a metal and two colorless, the Forbidden Iron Hammer that we've heard so much about. 70 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, discard an energy attached to that Pokemon. Alright, not too bad. Slows the opponent down somewhat. And a basic Beldum. Reg Ooh, Reggie Ice. I didn't know the, uh, the other Reggie brothers were going to be represented in this. So 120 HP, water type, and one water, one colorless. Ice Beam does 30, flip a coin, if heads, the opponent's paralyzed. And a water and two colorless, resistance blizzard. 70 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. I noticed the, uh, as I call them, the Reggie Brothers. They all seem to be sort of representing ways to deal with EX Pokemon. That's pretty interesting. It'd be cool to make a, a water... Metal and Fighting deck out of the uh, the three Reggies. So Tierno and Wally, Vaporeon with 90 HP. The ability Aqua Effect. Each of your Stage One Pokemon in play is now a Water type Pokemon in addition to its existing types. And I was I saw these in the Japanese expansion. Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon all have an ability like that. So if you had each of them in play, every one of your Stage One Pokemon would be whatever type they are, plus Water, plus Fire, plus Lightning. It'd be like a four type. And there is a Golurk with an ancient trait and an ability in this new set. It's a psychic, as long as it's in play, it's a psychic and a fighting type Pokemon. If you had the uh, the evolutions on your bench, it would be a five type. A psychic, fighting, water, fire, and lightning Pokemon. That'd be super effective against pretty much every single thing in play. And Hydro Splash for 70. Water and two colorless. Alright, checking out the rest of the cards. We got another Healing Scarf in this deck. That's pretty cool. Relicanth. 90 HP, and for one energy, Deep Sea Search. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon Tool cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Okay. And for two colorless energy, Takedown does 30, but Relicanth hurts itself for 10. Alright, so not so much for the attacking, but that Deep Sea Search would be really good. And Magikarp. Epic Splash! Look at... Epic Splash! Alright, calm down. One water energy, Epic Splash does 30. Flip two coins, if either of them is tails, this attack does nothing. Magikarp, well, you're a means to an end. You get Gyarados in play. You get this thing dominating the field, maybe. Alright. Here's another Metagross, this one without the foil effect. Persian, alright, what do you get? 90 HP. 
For one colorless energy, Fake Goat does 30, and flip a coin. If hedge, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Kind of like in the, sort of in the video game somewhat. And for two colorless energy, Ambush does 40 plus, flip a coin. If heads, it does 30 more. Got an Ace Trainer in this theme deck as well. So another Healing Scarf. So Relicanth can help you find both of these Healing Scarfs. Okay. Or an, a Lucky Helmet as well. Again, if this Pokemon, if the Pokemon holding this is damaged by an attack while it's active, you get to draw two cards. Another Vaporeon. And a Relicanth. Another Level Ball. And I think probably... Oh, there's an Escape Rope in here as well. So it's good to make... Make your opponent switch a Pokemon, and then you switch one as well from the bench. Alright, so those are the two theme decks. So, coming up tomorrow, what I'm going to do is do a play test of the two theme decks against each other. See which of them stands up. I can see... Nope, hang on. Reggie Rock is weak to grass. Okay. I was going to say, I can see that there might be an issue where water might dominate the other side, but that's not going to be it, so it's weak to grass. Weaknesses might come into play somewhat, but I don't think that's going to be an issue for these two decks. I think it's just going to be all about the uh, cards themselves, the attacks, and what abilities you have in play. Alright, so those are the theme decks. And now what we're going to do is tear into these random boosters and see if we can get some, you know, if we're lucky, get some full art cards, maybe some EXs. Who knows what we're going to get? I feel a little bit bad. I was almost talked into getting the uh, a fourth pack. Featuring the uh, other art, because we have Hoopa on this pack. We got the shiny Mega Rayquaza and the shiny Primal Groudon. But sadly, I don't have a pack to represent Mega Tyranitar. Um, I will get one someday, I'm sure, and I'll show you the art for that. But in the meantime, these three are pretty cool looking for the art. So I'm thinking, let's save you for last. I'm, I'm certain I'm going to get a Hoopa out of this pack. Set you to the side. Let's go with... Primal ground on first. So I'm going to tear this, well not tear, I'm going to cut this open. And first thing first, I'm going to offer up the code card to you guys. So here we go, see it right here. So I'm going to show off all three of the code cards. First person to go to Pokemon TCG online and redeem this code, you're going to get a 10 card booster pack to use in the online game. So I'm going to show the other two uh, code cards as well. One request is if you redeem a pack and you actually, you know, it is usable because you can only use them once. So first come, first serve, unfortunately. If you redeem a card, like a code card, and you get a pack, I would suggest maybe don't redeem any others. Just, you know, give other people a chance to uh, get a random pack and have some fun with it. I can't force you not to do it, but, you know, in the interest of good sportsmanship. So feel free to take a screenshot of this, or since I've been rambling, you can just jot this down on a piece of paper. And take this to Pokemon TCG Online, and enter the code, and you're going to get a 10-card booster pack of Ancient Origins. So we got three uncommon, this will be the Reverse Foil, and the Rare. Let's take a look at what we get out of this first pack. We have an Unknown, okay, with an ability. What does that say? Farewell Letter. Once... <laughs> letter. I get it. I see what you did right there. Once during your turn before your attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench... You may discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. This does not count as a knockout. If you do, draw a card. Alright, so with only a hidden power attack that does 10, unknown isn't really the most useful Pokemon in battle anyway. You can simply discard it and draw a new card. Now we have another Persian. Okay. Oh, it's common. I was expecting it to be an uncommon because it's an evolution. We have Ralts with Mumble Attack. We have a Golit. Smash Punch. I'm not going to read all the common cards. I'm going to save you the uh, that. Ooh, a common Malamar. Interesting. Entangling Control. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with the active Pokemon, and the new active one is now confused. Trash Tentacle. P put a card from your discard pile into your hand. This can bring anything back from the discard pile. That is awesome. And it's it's a common card. That should be reserved for like a rare or at least an uncommon. Not too bad. Alright, so uncommon card is Gloom, which we just saw some of in the theme deck. Paint Roller. Discard any stadium card in play, then draw a card. Okay. And we have a Whimsicott. Windy Mischief and Rolling Tackle Attacks. Wait, Windy Mischief. Move all damage counters from one of your benched Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. 
Wow. If you have like an EX damaged on the bench with like a lot of counters, you can do a lot of damage back to the opponent. This is crazy. Reverse foil card is a fighting type Go Lurk. So dig out, does 20, and discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a fighting energy, attach it to this Pokemon. Double Lariat for a fighting and three colorless, 90 times. Flip two coins, it's 90 damage times the number of heads. Not too bad. It's cool that the, uh, the Golet is a Psychic type, and now... Is it Psychic? I'm gonna say yes. It is a Psychic. So it can actually evolve into a different type. Which I like about some of the Pokemon cards. Like, in the video game, they can be dual typing. The cards are only one type, usually. So it's neat, you can sort of evolve on the fly in whatever situation you need. Alright, enough rambling. We're gonna take a look at the rare of this pack. I think it might be something good. Oh, okay, Jolteon. <laughs> I felt a little bit of a foil effect on it when I opened it. So, as I said, this is one of the uh, evolutions with the ability. Electric effect. Each of your stage 1 Pokemon in play is now a lightning Pokemon. In addition to it is just the existing types. And for a lightning and two colorless, Thunderblast does 80, and then discard an energy attached to Jolteon. Alright, so cool. we got two evolutions. And if we'll get the Flareon as well. Now, as I said, we'll save the Hoopa pack for the last. We're going to open up the shiny Mega Rayquaza pack. Alright, so once again, the code card, which they're all now facing upward, interestingly enough. So, again, first person who can take this code to the Pokemon TCG online and redeem it for a 10-card booster pack, good luck. I hope you get something good out of it. And for anyone whoops, that doesn't have access to TCG online just yet, just go to this website here, pokemon.com slash TCGO. You can download the game for free. You can just play with some of the, the built-in theme decks. It's really fun. It can help you strategize your own cards in the you know actual game. So that is to the wayside. And let's see what we get out of this second pack. We have a Beldum, which we've seen in the theme decks. Another Unknown. A Porygon, also from the theme deck. Another Spinarak, also from the theme deck. Meowth, not going to say it again. Sableye. Bewitching Eyes. Ooh, choose a supporter card from your opponent's discard pile and use it as the effect of this attack. That's pretty awesome. So you can use, like, Pokemon Center Lady or anything. And Furtive Drop, a dark and a colorless, put three damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Alright, so that gets around things like Hard Charm and such. We have a Metang. An Energy Recycler. Shuffle five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Nice. So if your opponent just keeps, you know, wailing on your Pokemon and making them lose energy, this can bring it right back. Reverse Foil card is a nice and shiny combi. Look at that. Bug Bite for 10. And the rare of second pack here will be... Mega Sceptile EX. Okay. I like it. 220 HP, Grass Pokemon. I think, yeah, we already took a look at this in uh, one of the videos I put for, you know, the upcoming expansion. So Theta Stop, prevent all effects of your opponent's Pokemon's abilities done to this Pokemon. Jagged Saber, you may attach up to two, well, one color, one grass, one colorless, does 100 damage. I'm excited, I just can't <laughs> go in order. You may attach up to two grass energy cards from your hand to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. If you attach energy to a Pokemon in this way, heal all damage from that Pokemon. You are going to have a special spot back here. I know you're blurry back there, I'm sorry Mega Sceptile. Um, you're going to have a nice card sleeve very shortly. Alright, so the final pack. I don't like how close these cards are to the top. There we go. I don't want to cut into them. So the Hoopa pack. Now, I don't even care if I get a Hoopa or not, because Mega Sceptile EX was an awesome enough find, I would say. So once again, the third pack. This is the online code card. Again, screenshot, jot it down, whatever you like to do. The code is now available to the first person who redeems it. And we got the uncommon, rare, and foil, or reverse foil. Starting with a Wooper, a fighting type that takes uh, water energy for one of its attacks. Cool. Another Beldum. We have a, another Spinarak. Epic Splash Magikarp. Goonie! 40 HP, Dragon Pokemon. The ability is Water Down. 
Whenever you attach a water energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you may search your deck for Gumi and put it onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterward. Okay, so it kind of like divides in water. That's pretty cool. And then for two energy cards, you can do Stampede for ten. I always... It's not the best to have to do... Like to put two energies on something to do ten damage, but, you know, I think it's more the ability to get other Gumis into play. And I believe... Uncommon. We have another Ariados with the Poisonous Nest. Ooh, Lysandre has been reprinted. That's awesome. So switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with, with uh, his or her active Pokemon. All right, Lysandre is back. Another Vaporeon with the Aqua Effect. Reverse Foil card is Eco Arm. An item, shuffle three Pokemon tool cards from your discard pile into your deck. Not too bad. Getting some tools back in. Oh, it's, it's pulling back the Hard Charm. That's cool. And the... Rare of the third final pack, the Hoopa Pack, is an overpowering Claydol. 100 HP, Psychic Pokemon. Rewind. Devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand. Devolve each of them. Wow. Now, if they have damage counters in excess of what their unevolved form can hold, you knock them out with this. That is crazy. Hyper Beam, Psychic and Colorless, does 30 damage. And flip a coin, if heads, discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, that's cool. Rewind is, is crazy. Like, just, wow. Imagine using that uh, Whimsicott to move damage onto the uh, active Pokemon, and then Claydol to devolve it. That would be a pretty powerful combo, I would think. Takes two turns to do, however. Alright, so those are the three booster packs. And I think that was pretty cool. Hello, Sceptile. Alright, so that being all said and done here, what we're going to do next is I'm going to record some battles, like a theme deck showdown. I'm going to have that for tomorrow. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Again, redeem these uh, code cards when you get a chance. Whoever can redeem them first and foremost gets a 10-card booster pack, Pokemon TCG Online. Thank you for checking out this video. Sorry it was late, but, uh, you know, sometimes life happens and we just can't get things done when we want to. However, it's all done now, and thanks for checking it out. I will catch you next time.